We're not really going to do anything with puppies except for bring them in the space, watch them, watch their reaction to this, right? So this is a lot for a puppy, right? If you bring a puppy into this room, check this out. There's fans, there's 20 people lined up. They may not have been training inside an indoor building. So this is our first glimpse at the puppy's thresholds, right? So we talked a little bit this morning about what we call establishing a behavioral baseline. Does your puppy come in like its tail up, like bouncing around like, hey, look, people, I want to go say hi. Or does your dog come in like, whoa, right? Neither one is a problem. Most puppies would come in here the first time a little like, wow, this is a lot, right? And so that, a, a dog that's not super confident when they first come in is not a big thing. But it's a note to us, and we want to pay attention to their body language. How do they move? How do I know they're not comfortable? What things about their body language tell me they're not comfortable? Right? So this is our first kind of glimpse of the dog. And then once they're in, you'll take food, and you'll just give them a couple of pieces of food. You'll just hand them food and see if they're interested in taking it. So that's one of our measures of how comfortable a dog. One, we're measuring the dog's motivation for food. Like, well, they, do they want the food? How vigorously do they take it? Do they take a piece of food and look around and chew on it? And, um, um, or do they take a piece of food and wolf it down like it wasn't and then stare at you like, hey, you got more of that and start jumping on you because they think you have food, right? They're going to give us a read on how motivated for food they are at that spot. They're also going to tell me if their desire for reward overrides whatever anxieties they have about the environment. So some puppies don't want to take food when they first come in but that's because this is too much, right? And then when they get comfortable, they start taking food. So food can be a way of helping the puppy work through discomfort. Food can also be kind of diagnostic for us, meaning it tells me the dog's level of comfort. And you're like, at home, my dog rips the food out of my hands like crazy. The dog's really food motivated. And you come in here, and your dog's like, not today, right? And that's just telling you that their anxiety is high enough that it's overshadowing or overriding their desire for the food reward. And so this is our first kind of glimpse on how they're going to react.